Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about triangle congruency. There are five different ways to prove that two triangles are congruent to each other. So we're going to look at some of the ways that we can do that. So the first way is by side, side, side. So that means if all three of your sides are congruent, then we can prove that two triangles are congruent based on side, side, side. Okay, the next one would be side angle side, which would be SAS. Order does matter, um, as we'll see when we walk through some examples. Um, our next option would be angle side angle. So ASA, angle, angle, side, AAS, and the last one would be hypotenuse leg. So that would be specifically on a right triangle. If the hypotenuse is congruent to the other hypotenuse and one of the legs is congruent to another leg, we can prove those two triangles are congruent through hypotenuse leg or HL. Ways that we cannot prove triangle congruency. One would be angle, angle, angle. Just because two triangles have uh, the same angle degrees at every angle does not mean that the two triangles are congruent. They could be completely different sizes but have the same angles, so that would not be a way. Another way would be um, angle, side, side, and notice I didn't put the, <laughs> the acronym there because uh, that would be a bad word which we don't want to write on Miss Miss Math Tutorials, um, but we always say in math that you should never, when you're doing triangle congruency, it should never be a bad word uh, as your acronym or a bad word spelled backwards, okay? So if you've written uh, this forwards or backwards, you know that is not a way to prove congruency. So kind of easy to remember, um, but those are not ways. So the last one would be side, side, angle. Those are not ways to prove triangle congruency. So I think as with most things, this makes the most sense once you see it in action. So let's walk through some examples. Okay, so in this first one, I have to look at the tick marks, okay? Um, and that's going to help me figure out can I prove these two triangles are congruent? They look congruent, right? I mean, they look like they're about the same size and the same shape, and I know some things within them are congruent, but I have to be able to prove it. Um, so I can't just go based on, yeah, they look the same. I gotta be able to prove it. So let's look at what I have here. Um, I see that this side is congruent to this side. This angle is congruent to this angle. And then this double tick mark tells me it's congruent to this double tick mark, these two sides. So let me see what I have, and I have to go in order, okay? I've gotta go side, angle, side. So you pick a place and you move your pencil directly from there. I can't jump across the triangle and then come up here, or go from here to jump here to go up there. You have gotta go in order, okay? So pick a place on the edge and then go in and then out, so side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So I can prove these two triangles, I would look and say, is that one of my ways? Side, angle, side, S-A-S, -S, yes. So these two are congruent through side, angle, side. Let's look at this one. I see this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, and this base is congruent to this base, okay? So if I know if all three sides are congruent to each other, that's the first one, that's the easiest one I think to remember, side, side, side. So these two are truly congruent based on the rule of side, side, side. For this next example, notice how these were lined up really nicely and I was able to quickly compare. So this one I've got to think a little more. Um, I've got to note where these right little angles are, which is very helpful. Remember those mean 90 degrees um, and, and kind of build off that. So I know that this angle is 90 and it's going to be congruent to this angle up here, which is 90. Um, I see this top angle is gonna be congruent to the bottom angle, and the bottom side is gonna be congruent to this top side. Okay, so let's kind of go in order, pick one place to start, right, and then build 
the other way. So angle, angle, side, okay? Angle, angle, side. So I know this is congruent by angle, angle, side. Let's look at this last example on this page. So I see that these two angles are congruent. Those are both my 90 degree angles. So I know obviously they are both 90 degrees. They are congruent. Okay, the top angles are congruent. And then these little side angles are congruent. So can I prove a triangle is congruent through angle, 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 right? And I see over here, angle, angle, angle is a big no-no. I cannot... You, well, and not that it's wrong, but I just can't use it to prove triangle congruency. So I would put here, no, I can't prove that they're congruent. And then you could put in parentheses, AAA does not prove congruency. Okay. Let's look at a few more examples. Um, so you'll notice this one looks really different from the ones we were doing. Um, our two triangles are actually like right up against each other, right? Right here, I can create on that line two, if that'll stay, two separate triangles. I could technically spread those two apart and they would be um, two separate triangles. But when we have, you might look at this and you might say, well, they didn't tell me anything. I don't have any tick marks. I don't have any angle marks. How am I supposed to know if they're congruent or not? We have to make some assumptions here. They do tell us, it says assume AB, assume this line, and CD, this side, are parallel. That's what that symbol means, parallel to each other. So AB is parallel to CD. Um, so that's good information so that we can make um, some assumptions. The first assumption I would want to make is that this line AD that cuts across, notice how those that is two sides. Um, so it's not only the hypot or well, one, I can't necessarily say it's a hypotenuse. I don't even know that these are right triangles, but it is um, this side for ACD and then it's this side for DBA, okay? So when that happens, when you have an overlaying line like that, I can say those lines are congruent to each other, okay? And the fact that I know AB is parallel to CD makes it um, so that I can say, well, this angle D, right, right here, he would be an alternate interior angle with this angle right here, right? We learned that in our video all about um, different angle relationships. And I could also say, um, if I wanted to, that uh, this angle would also be congruent to this angle because they are also alternate interior angles, which are congruent. They're not the same as the original one necessarily, right? But um, they are parallel to, they are congruent to each other. So now let me see what I've been able to create. Here's a side, an angle, excuse me. Here's a side and here's another angle. An angle, a side, and another angle. So this one is congruent through A, S, a, angle, side, angle. Now for this next one, again, I, I don't have a ton. I've got two tick marks. I know that this side is congruent to this side. And I know from here to here is congruent from here to here. So those two are congruent. Um, I can also make the assumption that these are vertical angles. And I know vertical angles are congruent. So let me see if I'm able to prove congruency here. I would want to start on one side and build your way around. So we have a side, a side, and an angle, okay? Now, is that one of my rules of congruency? And if you recall on the last page, and you may want to flip back, that is not a way to prove congruency. So we would put no. Okay, S, S, and in parentheses you could put S, S, A 
is not used to prove congruency. Okay. What about this one down here? So I've got our angle that matches here. That's a 90 degrees. That's a 90 degrees. Um, I have this base that matches that base. And then I have this hypotenuse, which matches that hypotenuse. So hopefully you're thinking, well, um, I have got a right triangle here. I know my hypotenuses are congruent to each other. And I know one of my legs is congruent to each other. And so I can define this as congruent by HL, hypotenuse leg. Okay, now I've got an example here for you guys to try. Um, so you may need to make some um, further assumptions than what I've necessarily given you there. Um, but you just will answer, uh, can you prove that those two triangles congruent? And if so, um, by what rule? Okay, so I will post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.